Today we are going to start our new chapter about cardiac failure and the first topic that we are going to discuss in cardiac failure is that what are the acute effects of cardiac failure or moderate cardiac failure and what are the compensations of uh, acute cardiac failure by sympathetic system. So we are going to uh, discuss the acute effects and compensation of acute cardiac failure. Now basically first of all we will uh, define what is cardiac failure. What is cardiac failure? Now basically uh, we know that the heart as a pump is continuously uh, contracting and pumping the blood into the aorta. The blood from the aorta goes into the peripheral arteries. It uh, supplies the nutrients and oxygen to the peripheral tissues and then the deoxygenated blood returns to the heart and that blood is pumped, pumped into the lungs and from the lungs oxygenated blood comes back into the heart and the heart pumps the blood again. Now this is the basic function of the heart. If the heart fails, if the heart fails to pump sufficient blood to fulfill or satisfy the needs of the peripheral tissue. If the heart fails to pump blood to, uh, to pump sufficient blood so that it can fulfill the needs fulfill the needs of the peripheral tissues then we say that the heart has failed or cardiac failure has occurred or the heart has failed to fulfill the needs of the peripheral tissue or the human body. Now this is the heart failure. Now what are basically the causes of what are basically causes of heart failure? Now causes of heart failure may be due to uh, ischemic heart disease. Ischemic heart disease is uh, something because we have discussed which is due to the decrease in blood flow to the heart muscle. This is the blood vessel which is supplying blood to the heart muscle. If the, this blood vessel is blocked and the blood cannot flow to the heart muscle itself then how the heart muscles are going to pump blood to the peripheral tissue. So the decreased blood to the heart is basically one of the most important causes of uh, cardiac failure or heart failure. So ischemia is a cause then valvular heart diseases. There are different valves in the heart which basically prevents blood from moving uh, to other chambers during different, uh, different phases of the heart contraction. So damage to the heart valves is another um, cause of cardiac failure. Then infection, infection in the heart of any layer endocarditis, myocarditis, that, that is another cause of heart failure. Then vitamin B deficiency. So ischemic heart disease, damage to valves, infection, similarly uh, rupture, rupture of the valves or uh, muscle walls and vitamin B deficiency. These are common causes of the cardiac failure. Some of them like the ischemic heart disease they may cause cardiac failure suddenly which are basically going to be discussed in this uh, lecture and uh, these that certain causes are called called acute heart failure. So we are going to discuss the acute effects of heart failure and which is most of the time due to ischemic heart disease. Other causes may be like acute or chronic or they may occur suddenly or uh, slowly and they are basically due to damage to the heart valves due to the infections or rupture or due to deficiency of some vitamins. Now our main topic for today is the acute effects of acute effects of cardiac failure basically we are going to discuss moderate failure heart failure may be mild moderate or severe we are basically going to discuss moderate failure and then we see that how this failure is compensation compensated by the sympathetic system sympathetic nervous system so the most important acute effects of heart is there is a decrease in cardiac output. The amount of blood that the heart is pumping every minute is basically called cardiac output. 
cardiac output which normally is 5 liters per minute so as soon as the heart failure occurs especially when there is acute failure which is our main topic of discussion in acute failure is most of the time due to the sudden decrease in blood flow to the heart muscles due to myocardial infarction or heart attack so there is sudden decrease in functioning of the heart and due to decreased functioning of the heart there is impaired contraction there is decreased force of contraction of the heart which leads to decrease in cardiac output below the normal level the normal level of cardiac output is 5 liters per minute and due to decreased functioning the cardiac output decreases so blood is not being pumped forward decreased cardiac output means there is decreased in forward pumping of the blood and the second thing is there is damming of blood there is damming of blood or a dam formation or pool formation or your wire. What occurs in damming is that is the heart cannot pump properly. So the amount of blood that is present in the heart is cannot be properly pumped and there is no room for more blood to pump. So the, the blood cannot come to the heart. More blood cannot pump uh, come to the heart and it starts pooling here. It starts pooling here, also known as damming. So, damming occurs in the veins, mostly occurs in the veins. We have discussed that veins are like sacs or balloons or like uh, uh, different bags, which can basically accommodate a large, large amount of uh, fluid or blood and their pressure is not uh, that much and uh, they can accommodate a lot of fluid. So due to, due to heart failure, especially due to sudden or acute failure, the two main important effects are decrease in the cardiac output or the forward failure or the blood cannot be pumped forward into the aorta and uh, different arteries. And the second thing is there is damming of blood. Now, to compensate this thing, the sympathetic nervous system gets activated. Sympathetic system, basically the sympathetic nerves comes from the brain and the spinal cord and they activate the heart and they also activate the different uh, blood vessels. They activate the arteries especially the arterioles at these levels and the veins and venules now we have plotted the cardiac output we have plotted the cardiac output in this graph and we are going to see what happens is uh, what happens due to the acute cardiac failure and how it is compensated in this graph we see that on y axis we are we have plotted the cardiac output which is liters per minute so this is basically the amount of blood that the heart is pumping every minute normally it is 5 liters per minute so we have mentioned it in the normal graph at this level this is the normal level of cardiac output in a normal heart in absolutely normal heart and the normal RT, uh, right atrial pressure the pressure at this level in the right atrium the normal right atrial pressure is 0 millimeter of mercury. So this here we have shown on the x axis the right atrial pressure. And the right atrial pressure, the right atrial pressure normally at uh, normal cardiac output level is 0 millimeter of mercury. Now as soon as the cardiac failure occurs or as soon there are uh, some acute changes there is a decrease in the cardiac output and there is damming of blood due to sudden weakness of the heart which most of the time is due to ischemic heart disease like uh, myocardial infarction heart attack so what happens is that the cardiac output the amount of blood that the heart is pumping every minute it suddenly falls to a lower level it suddenly falls to a lower level and the new level is this one this is the new level so if we look at this cardiac output on the y-axis we will see that the cardiac output has fallen from this normal level to this level or from this this level to this level so this is been mentioned as acute damage so this red color graph represents the normal cardiac output and 
the black color graph basically represents the cardiac output due to damage of the heart so acutely there is a decrease in cardiac output and there is a slight increase there is a slight increase in the right atrial pressure there is a slight increase in the right atrial pressure because the blood cannot be pumped so a lot of blood is present there and new and more blood from veins cannot enter into the heart the pressure at this side has increased so it has been shown here that the right atrial pressure the right atrial pressure from zero has increased to this level and the new right atrial pressure is this one, plus four or plus five then what happens that as soon as the cardiac output decreases and the damming of blood occurs the sympathetic systems get activated the sympathetic system which is basically coming from the brain in the spinal cord it sends send signals to the uh, heart and into uh, to the peripheral vessels and that is something which we have discussed again and again in our previous lecture that the sympathetic systems will basically increase the force of contraction of the heart force of contraction of the heart is if this area of the heart is damaged if this area of the heart is damaged then this sympathetic system the sympathetic system will increase the force of contraction of the remaining normal uh, uh, normal areas of the heart or if this area is weak it has been damaged but it is uh, its function has been decreased then sympathetic system uh, stimulation will basically increase the 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 function of this area so the sim the activation of sympathetic system will increase the force of contraction of the heart it will increase the heart rate and it will basically also it will also activate the veins and due to activation of the sympathetic system the veins will be compressed these veins will be compressed or constricted due to activation of the sympathetic system at multiple sites and what will it do that it will increase it will increase the filling pressure it will increase the filling pressure or the pressure through which the the blood is being forced toward the heart so the the rate of the rate with which or the pressure or the force with which the blood is returning to the heart it increases so due to sympathetic system due to activation of the sympathetic system the heart the force of contraction of the heart increases the heart rate increases the due to contraction of the veins venules there the filling pressure the mean systemic filling pressure or the pressure which is forcing the blood towards the heart it also increases so what happens is that the cardiac output starts increasing the blood going out of the heart per minute is in, increases in the amount of blood that is returning to the heart also increases and we see that due to these effects the the, the cardiac output starts increasing from this uh, this level to the new level now if we compare it the new level with damaged plus sympathetic activation the new cardiac output level is at this level but this is at the cost of increased right atrial pressure the right atrial pressure is at this level so the heart is damaged and the the, the cardiac output has been increased with the help of sympathetic system but the right atrial pressure is still high the pressure at this level is still very high so most this this right atrial pressure will also return to the zero level but acutely due to, due to acute compensation initially the cardiac output is slightly elevated but the right atrial pressure remain elevated now with the passage of time with the passage of time along with compensation by sympathetic system there will be compensation by retention of the fluid which as well which will try to recover